Well, I I believe strongly that um, we must be aware of our heritage and that we must value that heritage, both the, the good and the bad, uh, and that we should take care to learn from that heritage and uh, make, make the appropriate um, make the appropriate down payment for what it's worth by way of our heritage. Uh, if, if you look at the South proper, culturally, it's retiring. It's kind of laid back. It's steeped in uh, Christian belief and lore. Um, and uh, as a result, um, uh, we don't always move with the pace, with a pace uh, that's necessary to change things. And, you know, the perception is that Southerners largely uh, accept things uh, and will very rarely uh, confront you on something. Well, I believe that the disability rights movement uh, sets that notion on its head. You want to know why? Uh, because without the engaged efforts on the part of a lot of people in the South at changing not just the living environment, but the spatial environments inside your head, um, we would be fairly stagnant. In fact, the South, and many of my friends in the South, and I count among my friends, uh, Ron Mace, myself, and a handful of other activists took it upon ourselves in the South uh, to uh, make certain that we had a living environment that was accessible to and functional for disabled individuals. And so we started uh, consulting and working with our State General Assembly. Are you ready for this? In 1968, 1967, and 1969. And this predated, I'll say it to you again, it predated um, the Rehab Act, the ADA, or any of those movements. We passed in this state Chapter 168, which was a sweeping um, piece of legislation uh, that was designed to protect the rights of disabled individuals uh, that called for uh, our school systems providing uh, at least the minimum appropriate public education for kids years before there were any notion of taking these matters up uh, in different federal laws. So in a very real sense, North Carolina led and was on the cutting edge, it was on the cuffs from the South of bringing about, helping to bring about the very movements uh, that swept the country up. And so we are proud of that part of our Southern heritage. Um, every time I pull into a handicapped parking space or every time I use a public bathroom, my mind is taken back to those committee and subcommittee rooms in our General Assembly when we were seeking to have 
um, our building code modified, amended, and changed to add these kinds of provisions to it, we were leading. Let me say again, we were leading this country in those efforts, moving it towards what we see now. Okay? So, um, many contributions have come out of the South. And um, um, as I say, I remember the way it was before these laws were enacted. Okay? And literally, we were warehoused. Disabled kids were just warehoused, taken out of public view, didn't want to be seen, consigned to uh, these state uh, institutions. Uh, you never want to go back to those days. And um, um, there was so much of that here in the South. I think uh, that explains in some measure uh, why Ron and myself and Lockhart and other folks start getting after it early. Getting after it, uh, you know. Um, it, there had to be a better way. You just cannot expect to live like this. Uh, there has to be a better way. 